上。六点。Akyam Uni Buddha said, "I have the great Dharma which is hidden in the eyes. This indicates the location of the heavenly portal." Six. 释迦牟尼佛云：“无有正法，掩藏此语，暗示玄关之地。” Be the second treasure, the divine mantra one. You have now been given the divine mantra. It is very important to remember it, as it will save your life. It is only to be used in extremely dangerous situations. This mantra acts as a powerful spiritual distress signal to the divine forces, much like an SOS transmitted by radio waves. It is to be projected mentally and silently with great concentration, while at the same time focusing the eyes on the heavenly portal and holding the symbolic seal with the hands. Powerful aid will immediately be sent to you in order to rescue you from danger. If you sense, you will always remain under the refuge of Buddha. 二第二宝口诀：听经或五字真经，一刚才传咒口诀给你们，还记得吗？请再说一遍。当性命危险时，你才用此宝，将真经默念口中，手抱合同。你将可被天佛救护，脱离危险。不过要注意，此口诀仅能于性命危急之时方可运用。假若我们真诚修道，当然我们将受天佛之庇佑。二点 ，The divine mantra which connects your true self with God. This mantra is without form, sound, or color, and is the essence of Tao, the underlying and ultimate principle of the universe. This mantra unites your being with that of the Tao, forming a powerful bond. Every great religion indicates this potential unity. But they do not fully understand how to implement and effect it. You now have this knowledge and are familiar with its application. 二心经，口传心受由声音而达入无声音我之真心，由千经万点而达入真经真点心经。心法真空也，真我本性也。三点。The true teaching is transmitted from mind to mind. The true self, the I, the spirit, the mind all indicate the true center of man or his real essence and original indestructible nature, which is identical with Tao. The human being is a microcosm, sharing all the attributes of the macrocosm. Since he is essentially divine, man only needs to understand the nature of reality and align himself with it. The more pure and refined his nature, the more conscious he becomes of his relationship with the Tao. When he realizes that he is one with the Tao, he has become fully enlightened. 三以心传，心口传，心手以老之心传于众生之真心。此者老的分灵。